And there's good news for Linfield and their followers. Their main strikers, Martin McGahey and Stephen Baxter, had both been doubtful because of injury. But both will play, and that's the same 11 which won at Coleraine on Saturday. And the Blues, top of the league, of course, are now unbeaten in their last 16 games. Omar Town, they show two changes from the side, beaten 2-0 at Ards on Saturday. Player manager Roy McCready and striker Marty Woodhead return. Seamus Bonner, he moves on to the subs bench and striker Mark Donnelly is missing because of suspension. So the Budweiser final, the fifth Budweiser final is underway. Obertown wearing the white shirts playing from left to right in this first half. And both sides, of course, very hungry for success. And uh, a bit of psychology from uh, Roy McCready of Oma. He says there's more pressure on Linfield. And Jim Cleary is beside me. I think he might be right, Jim. Well, I think, Jackie, as we know, Linfield have all the experience. They've been in so many finals over the years. And as some of their players have said today, they're expected to win trophies. And uh, this is the first chance they've had to win one for a while. And obviously there is a bit of pressure on them. Yes, a bit of pressure, but the uh, bookmakers, they're making Linfield the big favourites tonight. Four to seven, and you can get nine to two on Oma, which is a fairly generous price, I would have thought. Well, I think you would have to go along with the bookmakers. I mean, as, as I've mentioned, you know, the experience Linfield have in finals. And if you look through their team, although some of the younger lads have not played in finals, you have the likes of Alan Dornan, Lee Doherty, David Jeffrey, Martin McGahey and Stephen Baxter. You know, you have five players there who have loads of experience. And obviously that will tell tonight, I would think. And while Stalin Patterson is 19, that man is 20 years older, 39 years of age now, Joe McBrearty. And here he is in his first cup final. Well won by Jeffrey. McGuinness. Curry. Over streaming out, trying to play the offside. The flag stays down. Bailey, they're in the middle. There's Mikaki! 1-0! Brilliant finish! And Martin Mikaki's 15th goal of the season. And we've just... Perfect finish from Mikaki! Marty Woodhead and wins the corner kick. So a chance for Omer to move forward. And that looks like Eamon Kavanagh, who's got a very sweet left foot coming across to take it. Oh, is it in? It is! And what a start we've got to this cup final. Absolutely amazing. And it's the fullback, Declan McColgan, the near post, and Patterson was beaten. And we've just played five minutes, it's one each. Jim Clintfield again. Curry, good ball, McGahey! Baxter, still with it, good effort. And over the top by McGrearty. And a under it. Kavanagh. Confronted by Dornan. Good ball player, Kavanagh. But no real power in the shots and just couldn't get any power. And Omer bring it away. Truly. And again showing their composure on the ball. That's good play. Pretty. Kavanagh, Dunyan is forward on the left. Kavanagh still going. Oh, he runs into that challenge from Jeffrey. Oh, and Jeffrey and McCready. A battle of the big man there. And McCready going down, Alan Dornan going in there. And a bit of a free for all. And it's all getting a bit silly. And referee Andy Ritchie will have to stamp on this. And a yellow core card for David Jeffrey. So two Linfield men hooked.
and leaving it. Maybe joining the wall. Just four blue shirts. Here's Kavanagh. But Patterson had to grab it at the second attempt. From Bailey's corner kick. There he is. There's McGaffey. Ah, just inches away. First half to an end. As we were saying, an interesting first half. Martin McGaffey there, who put Linfield one up in three minutes. And Declan McCorgan, two minutes later, made it 1 1. Eric Bowyer there in the middle of your picture, the Linfield manager. A penny for his thoughts at the moment. At the moment is having to absorb more Linfield pressure. Chip forward on by McGaffey. Pushing and a penalty kick. And really, Jim, a penalty out of nothing. Forward from Curry. There it is. Stephen Baxter it is. His 12th goal of the season. He's missed it. They were aggrieved at the decision. Baxter will not be too pleased about that penalty. But he would be the first to get one. But disappointment for him and the Linfield supporters. And a red card, and again, out of nothing. Guy McCormick, he had been booked in the first half. Committed another, what the referee considered to be a bookable offence. Dinks it through. Oma appeared to stop. There's McGaffey, and off that bar. Curry running the fullback, still going. McGaffey's in the middle! He should have put that one away. McGuinness finds Crilly. Good ball. Woodhead. Crilly continues the run. Crilly going in there. Well read though by Patterson. And he had to be sharp. He's off his line. So Kavanaugh with it. Oh, it's 2-1. Terraces, Harry McCourt, the top goal scorer. You see, he's in the six-yard line. Sorry, Jim. There he is, the little flick, and it's two-one. But here's Curry. If anybody can retrieve it for Linfield, this fella can. Lovely. Oh, McBrearty got the punch. Doherty had the space was quite right to have a go but he couldn't find the target keep ball at the moment good chance this might be back to the keeper well it's the way we all say you should play when you're you've got an extra man is to, is to play possession football and they've been doing it so far and pretty well at that and they're doing it quite well at this moment here's Dunyon rides the tackle a court Woodhead Still Woodhead. Oh, wonderful goal. Patterson left with no chance. And what a finish by Woodhead. Unbelievable. 13 minutes left. It's unlucky for Linfield. Woodhead held it up. Changed feet. And Wallop, top corner. A tremendous goal. Reminiscent to think of, for those of you who remember the 1982 World Cup semi-final for Keo's goal against Italy. You can see Alan has the ball here, running right across the park. Young Calvin comes in with, well, it's a late challenge, right enough. It must be at least a booking, I would have thought. We're not so sure at the moment what's going to happen when this referee gets a count. Yeah, I'd have to say that was a booking, and Dornan, well, he wasn't pleased. That's two. There's the corner, taken by Curry. Bailey, good cross, good header from Beatty, but well held by the keeper. History tonight for Oma Town, their second season in Irish League, and they've won their first senior trophy, and a first trophy for player manager Roy McCready. Bitter disappointment, as we were saying, for Linfield and their manager Eric Bowyer, who's still looking to win his first trophy.
David Jeffrey there, a nice touch over congratulating Roy McCready. What a night it's been for him and his team. Final scoreline in this Budweiser Cup.